So the Care Quality Commission, or CQC for short, again, I think most people assume, well, this must be looking after patients, its interests, it must be making things better. Are you opposed to the use of a regulator like the no, CQC? No, no. The question is, how do we do it? Now, I'm, I have no quarrel with the mission, which is about safety, probity, compassion, competence. Yes, of course, we must do all that we can to get the best in those things and to take out people who, or organisations, that really there is real evidence that they are adverse outliers. The problem is not the mission, but the method. How do we do that? Okay, if I can draw an analogy, um, it's a little bit like discipline in a family. If a parent over-disciplines its children, far too many rules and regulations that are not subject to inter intelligent discrimination, what happens is those children may be compliant short term, but what happens longer term? Those children will become demoralized, depressed, resentful, passively compliant, and without the development of their own autonomous initiative. That's what happens in over-regulated families. And what I'm saying is that the, the current regime, which is increasingly remote in its method of management, inspection and compliance, a little bit like a control tower trying to control everything, what happens is that the procedures and the regulations become so dense that they become damaging. Everything that we do that can be helpful can also be harmful if we overdo it. That's not what we're not understanding.